morning, first hand speaking. We've made good progress overnight and are now in the northern Aegean, well en route to Istanbul. Having left our patrol area off the coast of Serbia Montenegro, I think most of us have now benefited from falling out of defence watches to a reduced state of readiness. I would point out, however, that the Opsrum team remain closed up, keeping a watchful eye on movements around us in this important area of the eastern Mediterranean. That's all. Where's the club, sir? Clubs, can I speak to someone with some intelligence, please? You are doing already, me. Ideally, the officer of the watch. What's our course of speed at the moment? 06011. All right, cheers, shipmate. What we've got at the moment is basically a, it's like a Soviet fisherman. I use the term fisherman very loosely. He's basically an intelligence gatherer. Apparently the Cold War's finished, but we don't know. This is still our bread and butter stuff. We're watching them, they're watching us. It's been going on years, I expect it'll go on for years to come. Well, I'm not going to see if they say it's fine, yeah. What's her CTA? Six miles at the moment, sir. Six miles? Oh, well, let's go and get a, a positive identifier. Let's go across that way. We may uh, actually bump into this guy and uh, have a look at him. Get an update off the, uh, the geezer. Be it the, the dock with his camera, someone taking a picture of a Soviet ship. Just adds to ever increasing library of pictures and information about the Soviet Navy. He's coming down there like that. We're going to be going up that line now, and I reckon we're going to meet about 12 o'clock, 12 or 5 from there. What's the bearing now, Oswald? Don't run the thing yet, I've got it fine. Well, our whole business is to make sure we know what is going on around us at sea. You know, it's a great expanse of ocean, uh, when, wherever we are, and, and it's, it's quite difficult to have good intelligence. Modern warfare is all about or being able to conduct operations at sea. You need to have as good a, an appreciation of, of everyone who's around all the time, because everything's done at increasingly long range from you. The Cold War is past, but they still have a capable navy, the former Soviet Union. We're a vehicle of uh, HM government, so uh, we always want to be aware of who, who is here. He, he, didn't, he didn't even shift his course to orders. Which change, change the time? Six. Yeah. Ness has got a, a commitment, but he's, he's only doing nine knots. Oh, do you know where he is? Yeah, speed, sorry, course zero six zero, speed one zero. Good evening, first time speaking. We're now clear of the Dardanelles and we'll be beginning a long overnight passage now up the Sea of Marmara to Istanbul, where tomorrow morning we'll be anchoring opposite the Dolma Bachi Palace on the northern side of the Bosphorus. Tomorrow then, a very busy day, all the preparations for the cocktail party in the evening. I'm hoping that once we're there, we can crack as much of the work as we require to get done, so everyone can get as much time off as they can ashore in Istanbul to take in what is, for many, a very interesting city. That's all. That's card knocking. Uh, Istanbul. Did you find any nightlife there? Yeah, where does that place that? All the hotels. Sheraton? Yeah, because of Bolo. In the place you can go, really. Or actually get mugged and raped in the water. Well, Cupboard Mosque is a good place to go. Get everything. Smally boy to a tin of nails, like. <laughs> R runs ashore and visits for the ship are, are very important. In fact, if I'm honest, almost everybody on board see that as the highlight of a time away and a deployment. Certainly, everyone gets a buzz from the ship doing the job at sea professionally. But human nature dictates that that the, the visits that a ship undertakes it is a real highlight. And after all, it's true. A lot of people join the Navy to see the world. The covered Bazaar is huge. And the toilets on the Galatea Bridge is there's something else. It's just a hole. Someone like it's got a sword and sawed a hole in the floor. Venice, yeah. Straight into the water. There's all fish witness. in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't really <laughs> You got the, okay. you got the hole in the floor, two handlebars, <laughs> two foot, foot badges, like, you're going to dangle over it, like, they give, you, they give you two torches so you can do like the Dan Busters did it. <laughs> <laughs> Once you got the two spotlights on, right, that's it, there you go. <laughs> in a ship at sea, alcohol is allowed to a certain limit, but even though it is allowed, many people have a, a voluntary restriction whilst they're away doing the, the job. They get ashore, and uh, people do like to relax and cross the whole of society, actually. Uh, for right or for wrong, alcohol is one of the vehicles that allows people to, to relax. 
and my team are just like anybody else. The whole way that I like the ship to run is for people to accept personal responsibility, and that applies when they run ashore as well as at sea. Inevitably, human nature will cause some people to misjudge what is a sensible level. And then I need to administer discipline. There you go, the blue mosque, that's all touristy. No, it's a great mosque. Look at the church. Huge place. You've never heard the blue mosque? No, what do you want to go there for? Well, yeah, postcard, buy a carpet. So been there? Been there, didn't it? To the left, three, five, eight and a half. Zero, three, nine. That's the blue mosque over there. The one that's white? Yeah, the one that's white. That's actually the blue mosque. See, next to the palace. What's it called there? I don't know, I don't know. They run out of blue? I don't know. It's called the blue mosque for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> that red place is the royal palace. Yeah. To Cathy or something like that, royal palace. You've got a Galatea Tower over there, that little short stumpy one. That bridge over there... Tamar Bridge, isn't it? It's like the Tamar Bridge, but it's not in Devon and Cornwall. It's like Europe that side, and it's Asia the other. And when we get round the corner, here's the covered bazaar. I'll tell you a tour guide here. It's a, it's a fat Judith Chalmers, like. It's getting into Istanbul, and as usual, the first night in, the cocktail party. For about 100 guests, apparently. All the local VIPs. As usual, we don't get sure, but never mind. So I'll we'll have a drink afterwards. Sometime. Hey, George, there's a football ground there, look. Yeah. See it? Last dust. Some boy. Oh, Spanish ship! Ha! To the right, deuce, please! Now, I don't know who's plays there, but last, George, last time we played there, the uh, Turks played the Soviets. And there's a Turk playing Soviets there. Because we left. We left on the Monday and they were playing on the Tuesday. I remember it was Tuesday, we had liver. <laughs> Slay! First day is usually very, very hectic, and it will all finish tonight about 2200. By the time it's all calmed down, things have settled, the guests are all away. We're looking forward to that time. Yeah. <laughs> Cocktail party. No, I can't afford to get it wrong, really. It's got to go right. Hopefully, it goes all right on the night. As you say. <laughs> as you say, it'll be right on the night. It will be good. It will be good. Keeps you, keeps you out of mischief. <laughs> and what else is coming for the cocktail party? In terms of do you have a spirit to mix us? We've got I mean we're okay on everything. The thing that we're running low on is the Bacardi and the vodka, but we've got enough to see us through. It depends. If they're gonna drink daft drinks like they did in Barcelona, where they're having like Coxburg and tomato juice and all, all these foreigners like them just oh yeah, I'll have some of that, I've never tried that before and <laughs> they they've got no idea. Yeah. But I'm only going to take a limited stock up, so once it's gone, then it's gone. I'm not going to leave right. myself short with the brandy and the gin. I mean, we've got loads of that. I'm going to try and get rid of 10 bottles of wine. Yeah. I've got other snacks. Everywhere we'll go, this thing's got to be rigged, and you also have a little party on it. It's more hindrance to us more than anything. Because we're not invited. No, we never get invaded. They don't trust us, I swear. We wouldn't have fit in with their social standing in other words. Talking shop? Yeah, but I said that was going to say How interesting. Right answer. Right answer. Well, tell one of the stewards, sir. I've got some stewards. Steward? I'm actually working at the cocktail party tonight, because they're always asking for stuff. Basically, just serving the drinks to the guests in the fight deck. It's all right. It's um, I don't mind because it's free beer for me. You see, so quite happy with that. Yeah. 
Roger Whitaker. Who is it? Roger Whitaker. You, you, you've got to be. There's no way. That's going to be great. Roger Whitaker. 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 Roger See the new detachment of Royal Marines have just arrived. They're in there somewhere, but you can't see them. They're in there somewhere, but no one can see them. <laughs> We're building a large, well, a largish fountain. <laughs> Small fountain. <laughs> waterfall, come waterfall effect, which is just a bit of decoration for the cocktail party. That's purely all it is. It's a young officer thing. Make sure that this hose doesn't sort of spray over everybody. I've never been to Istanbul though. I've just been up and had a look and it's everything you think it's going to be like, you know, all the minarets and everything. It's like some out of Arabian Nights. You know, well, it can be a bit dangerous, yeah, you get down the back streets and things in Istanbul. Apparently you can end up getting stabbed or mugged and, you know, done over for your money. So it pays not to go down the back streets, but then again, being Matt Lowe's, we, a couple of us will end up down there. That's where you have some of your best laughs. Yeah, I reckon that skyline hasn't changed for about 500 years. No telegraph poles, nothing like that. Just the old uh, minuets, whatever they're called, and the mosque. Uh, I don't think it's changed much at all. Got a, a lot of history. Old uh, King Richard came over here and tried to beat these lot. Didn't get very far. The Crusades and that. Yeah, I can't see why he wanted to do it, mate, but he's to his own, I suppose. Hey, Mark. Yeah. Is that about right, Dougie? Oh. Keep going. Keep going. You want a bit more pressure? That's it. That's the ticket. Yeah. Once we get the lighting and everything else, and you have people milling around, you don't see it. <laughs> you don't see it, and it, it doesn't stand out in quite the light it stands out in at the moment. I.e., it doesn't look so bad when you have other people standing around. We won't throw it over the side this time. All right, people. Cocktail party starts at 18:30. The guests will come in tray service. We'll go on and do a tray service till approximately quarter to seven and then we'll go around and do cold eats. It's not much, okay? Well, then we'll go straight into hot eats. Um, what I don't want you to do, people, is have a drink during the cocktail party. There'll be enough drink at the end, okay? Uh, the captain's staff will obviously take charge of VIPs. You can go to the cellar and get the rest of the booze up then, okay? <laughs> the guest list for tonight is somewhat incomplete. There are, to my own knowledge, 17 Turkish naval captains coming. It doesn't appear as though there's any wives. There is then an additional portion of the guest list which has been handled by the Consulate General and we don't have that bit back. The more important point to bear in mind is that there's only one big liberty boat and it will not leave shore till 1825. But when it does come, they will come thick and fast as it were. I'll be at the head of the gangway, the steward's standing there to get the drinks and then if the rest of you split up as usual on the flight deck please and take them out and let them see the wonderful fountain that the Wyos built. 
And the last one is the standard one. Look after everyone at the cocktail party, please. If you bring guests down here afterwards, remember that you're your guests. Please don't leave them in the mess and go ashore. Other than that, it has all the hallmarks of being a good cocktail party. And my sense of humour is coming back slowly. Thank you. Hey. <laughs> I think in general people are realising how important logistics is. Mingling. Oh, it's good news, you can lay your hair down. Yeah, that's right. We can have a good time. Have one of my gins, because you'll like this. This will blow your head off. Happy Halloween! Ooh. Hey, that's good. <laughs> Not materials. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> find a wedding ring for someone. I'll put a wedding ring on. You can come as my wife. Oh wait, don't, don't worry about that. Just tell you. We met. We got married. Bit, bit well went, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't invited to the cocktail party. I'm so devastated about it and all. Not my idea of fun. Sat there with a bunch of strangers you don't know eating cold toast. You're going to stand there like a prawn, blowing a whistle. No, no knees at all, just milling around, smiling like they don't even like the people they're talking to. I expect half the time they're smiling and all that. Nah, don't like it. They can have it. Very good, well done. <laughs> Let's go. Well, it's Halloween and we decided that we didn't want to go ashore the first night out, so we thought we'd have a little party. Girls only, as you might have seen by the sign on the door. No sailors allowed. No men. No women's bits, no entry. I'm Dracula. And this is my bride. We have Corsi. Relax as much as you physically possibly can, girls, please. <laughs> uh, where does all this blood come from, Emmy King? We all donated a bit. <laughs> You've been here over here. You've enjoying it. Is he boring you? No, uh, go away. Are you sure? Is he, is, has he told you that he's an aviator? <laughs> Oh, really? That's this, this guy is a, a diver. Okay. I didn't even mention it to you earlier. But, Actually, uh, my, my name is Bob. No, Bob, I'm Bob Keen. Hawkins. How do you do? Operations officer. And a diving officer as well. Oh. Are you very impressed with this man? Oh, absolutely. Because he's tall, good looking, suave. Yeah. Auburn hair. Yeah. So much in common, yeah. really. I think well, it's too well, short well, hair, full stop, actually. <laughs> no, can yeah. I... It's nice to have hair, actually. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I can't remember the last time I had hair. Yeah. Nick needs to know. Nick, nice Nick, but thing. Oh, it does need to know. Yeah. Tell me, where, where, where do you stand on Europe and the whole Federalist debate? Well, I... I'm very sorry, but it doesn't actually understand your question. <laughs> <laughs> I've helped me out with my hand out of my pocket. I can't help <laughs> Hey, thank you. How, how long have you been out here? Now? Over a year. I am a music man. I come from Brazil. Where can you play? What can you play? I play the best. Woo! Yeah. 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 Oh! Free beers here, you know, so that that's what makes it worth it, you see. That's why that's why there's a cocktail party for. A few beers afterwards, you know. So, so. And a little sing song. Hey, hey, it's all right, mate, yeah. Why? Shut the door. Because you have to watch this Shut up. Shut the door. No, I don't mean turn it off. Two little fishermen down by the sea. Have you a lobster? You want to sell, sell to me? Sing it out to the Shit of us. The biggest of the bastards I will sell to you Sing it out to Leo
Oh my god, you see what's in the box? <laughs> <laughs> Can I read your sludge? <laughs> I wouldn't really like that in my stomach. Someone's emptied their bowels into my cup. Truly <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. Before proceeding ashore, the quartermaster has some cars to help you ashore if you get lost. The ship's company is reminded your best behaviour is required ashore. No sports rig is to be worn. No Union Jack shorts. Keep your money safe in your pockets and keep your identity cards separate. Behave yourself. Keep your fingers crossed. What are the cards say, sir? The cards you can see in front of you are just some phrases in Turkish. And on the side there, it actually states, I am a lost sailor, please direct me back to the fleet landing. And there's a little map at the other side. We have to look after our sailors, don't we? It's gold everywhere. It's gold, jewellery, rugs and leather. That's about it. We like leather, mate. Yeah, we do like leather. <laughs> leather's dangerous, isn't it? Thanks for looking. <laughs> I got I got my fing yeah. in this beer. 100 quid. These are quite well expensive here. Yeah. Oh, that must be a carpet. Fucking massive as well. I like carpets. <laughs> that would go really well on my rug in my house if I don't own. <laughs> With your really nice rug? Yeah, did I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I don't want. <laughs> Where'd you ask that? I hit on the head by a pillow. And you always buy for yourself. Cheaper. Right. These cheaper than that other shop. Yeah. Nice yucca plant in the middle. Yeah. Just a jump of drink. It's very nice. Yeah. Yeah. I reckon you get that down to about mm -hmm. 2.50 for cash. Fiver, I'm yeah. just a fiver. Um, 250,000. Yeah. 500,000 is 9 quid, isn't it? What do you reckon? Oh, cool. oh, I like that. Which is the one that, um, yeah, it's very nice. Where's yours, Ronnie? I like that one. How much? 850. Can I have two for 850? 2,800,000. Good lord. 2,800,000. That's a little bit steep, my good man. 2,800,000. 2,800,000. I'll be back. <laughs> no, stop. Oh, there's some bloke in pain down there. Let's go and see that. It's just the doctor having his. No, 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 no. Sweet. 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 Oh, you, you, can't, you can't gamble when it's only about a pound fifty. Can you? you just can't do it. It does set off your ears quite well, actually. It does. It, it does. Nice and red at the moment. Yeah. Nick, what does this say to you? That actually says, says to me that um, Harry ought to go and lose some weight quite. very quickly. You get good runner shores and bad runner shores. I've always found that the spontaneous one, where you go out for a quiet drink and you, you bump into a, a load of lads from another ship, you know. Just oh, you get all the local bar, bar people and that, and they just say, right, you English, yeah, you know, well, we like the English, and then that's it, you sit down there, you may not even move from there, and it's, again, it's just, you never know what's coming. Where, where was it? We, we, Trieste, wasn't it, when... Trieste, where we helped ourselves in the bar. There's a little back street bar. Yeah. We found out it was a gay bar. Yeah, it was a gay bar. It was a gay bar, I wonder if we found out we stayed in there. The barmaid was a bit strange. Bob, her name was, what was it? Eric. Oh. <laughs> Like live, work, and play in a metal box, 24 hours a day. You get these office workers. They, are, if you put them in their office, leave them in their office for more than a couple of days, they'd go mad. When you're on a ship, you have to gel together. It's not designed; it just happens because you're living and working with people. Like we've been out here seven months. I, I'm 28 years old. I've got my own home. I don't like living out of a suitcase. I've got possessions that I cannot, I can never use. I've got um, clothes I never wear and I've got friends that I never see and that's the hard bit for me, not the actual work itself or even the battle against working with the lads. It's the actual conditions that we live in. Seven months with the same group of people, you're either going to get on with them or kill them. 
simple as that. You get in trouble if you kill him. Yeah, so, you, you get your wages and leave stops. <laughs> I don't want that, mate. <laughs> I don't want that. The bang you in, a little box goes from what we're already in. Yeah. Just a Bible. <laughs> Not that I know, like. Mm. I think with the lads, is that with their, um, their male egos, they don't want to be seen as uh, an emotional wreck. They want to be seen as some hard, invincible guy that can sort of like just stroll his way through anything. And it's not just the individual, it's that like the other lads don't like to see. Um, it's, I think they class it as a weak link, I don't know. Whereas the girls, we're not bothered. If Claire breaks up and cries, I don't think any less of her. So you need the girls around you to give you the strength, if you want to call it, to go on, to face the next God knows how many hours on watch because you just don't want to do it. We've all found it tough. There's no one that's gone through this in a breeze and without the support of each other, then we could never have got through. I don't know. I've heard Bob. It says, no, you have 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 no, you One of the great advantages of the Navy is that you get to travel around to you know, marvellous places like, like Istanbul, steeped in, in history and east meets west. It's, you know, it's fascinating to come and see. And it's something you know, that I've always enjoyed during my time in the Navy. And it's you know, something that you look forward to when you serve in, in our ships. You know, apart from uh, running ashore with your oppos, as we, as we call them in the Navy, it's, uh, it's also nice to, uh, to get away by yourself, have a wander around gather your thoughts, have a wee bit of a re reflection on what you may be doing at the time, put things into perspective. And certainly I, I enjoy that, not, not too much, you know, I prefer to be with my friends most of the time when I go ashore. We, we play together really, we work hard and we play hard. I, I have a phrase that if you're going to hoot with the owls then you're going to make sure that you soar with the eagles the next day. And, and by, by and large we achieve that. We don't always do that. but we. We, we work very hard and we, and we play hard as well, and you have to, you have to, to be able to let off steam. We're, we're together as a team at work, and when we're a team, when we play as well, we're a, a, a body of, of men. You know, we, we few, we happy few, we band of brothers. For he that sheds his blood with me today will be my brother. Henry V, I think, just before Agincourt. And that's still true today. The events are ashore, so have too much to do. Just keep a look around you all the time. Just make sure the ship is kept clean. Okay, that's the EXO's big sort of watchword. Okay. Do you know what? Oh, turn for a dismiss. I'm a luxury service mate, top of the shop. <laughs> Gotta go for it, you? You have. Half <laughs> service, including scrubbing and massage. Make you feel reborn. Right, right. I can do with reborn. Yeah, well, I'll have one of them as well, please, yeah. mate. Oh, yeah. 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 Nice, mate. Yeah. Doesn't hurt, does it? <laughs> it hurts, I'll cry. Do you? What am I yeah, you're supposed to put that in your mouth, what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, what? All right, Jack. Yeah, all right. You've been attacked, Jack. Yeah, I'll pick it up for you. 
Is the towel big enough for you? Well, no, I've got the extremities poking out. Hey, put the carpet around you. <laughs> Do you keep your nicks on or off? Good point, I don't know. Off, off. Yeah, here we go. Wait, come on, I can't put this on. <laughs> Roy Castle, mate, isn't it? No, I I'll go to. Nothing compares to the UK, especially England. To me, England is the best country in the world. It's the way of life. Simple things everyone, everyone takes for granted, like uh, a good old fashioned pint of English beer, fresh milk on the doorstep, <laughs> even things like uh, extenders you miss. Are you patriotic? I think I like things I am, yeah. Very. You work for the Queen, basically. Prime Ministers come and go in there to a penny, really, to me. It's, uh, 
This is the old monarchy is taking a hammer at the moment, I must admit, and that's basically due to the media. The royal family, be it good or bad, is one of the country's best exports. Ooh. Yeah, they are good exports, aren't they? They earn a lot for the country. I may be misguided in that, but that's what I like to think. I help round two. We have HMS Brilliant visiting Istanbul. The Royal Navy plays a very important part in pursuing British foreign policy objectives. They've just been working in the Adriatic. We think it's up to us as the Foreign Office representatives here to help them get some well-deserved rest and recreation. And to do this, we've invited members of the British and Turkish community to meet them in the hope that they will establish friendships and contacts during their stay and have a very good time. Don't be that stupid. Whoa! Christ, look at that was empty. It's your room. Uh, your room, mate. I'll get in. Go on, then. Uh, Go on, then. I went last, so what am I? Fine. I'm only here for the free beer. That's that's the only reason I'm here. And you ask any other junior right here, and they'll tell you exactly the same. It's fine, Mickey. Feel like an optician. I've glasses no, all around me. I didn't cash much money while I was here, so uh, this is this is a cheap time for me to go and get drunk, you know, and before I go anywhere else. But I have to wait and see. However, the officers and a lot of, you know, snug up nose senior aides will probably tell you a lot different. It's, uh, they'll say it's nice to, like, get your roots back to England in various different countries. That's free, yeah. Is there a fire over there or something? I feel like it's... Keep pouring it out, are you? Pardon. That's fine. Same in an old-time fire brigade. Yeah, exactly. So, what do you ladies do here? Well, I'm enjoying myself. Enjoying right. ourselves, yeah? Yeah. Good. yeah. Good. Yeah. Turkish concert. It's always been a really friendly place. They always look after us when they come here. Like, nights like this. I used to go somewhere in Europe and talk English about struggling through with fingers and hands and pointing at stuff. I love it. I love Istanbul. Everyone, yeah, everyone has been to so far. So this is absolutely yeah, superb. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay. Plenty going on. Lots to do. You like it, Carol, don't oh, you? Yeah. 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 Good, good, good assignment, basically. Good assignment. Yeah. yeah. Good deployment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shore patrol, just some of that has to be done yeah, every now and again. I mean, I've been lucky in six months out here, I haven't had to do one, so it's the first one I've had to do. And to tell you the truth, I could do it or not off the beer myself. So we're just making sure that everybody gets back on board safe. A few of them will have had a few beers because they were due at the consulate tonight, yeah, so they'll have tried to see the blooming British government off for a start. And uh, we're just making sure they all get back in the beds properly. But the biggest worry is, like, you know, if the, any of these Turks start, like, you know. So there's meant to be a football match. I can't remember if it's tonight or tomorrow night. And that's going to be worrying. You know, Galats are right, and we know all about them, their fans. And if any of the lads are in the area, it will just kick off like. And we might have to blooming leap in there and sort that out. That's a bit worrying. It's amazing, eh? You can walk around a turkey and you can find a cast of Brookside over here. It's all right, I feel so right. That's right. He's been down with he's been down with Aussie. Not that. He's been down with Aussie. Ah, sister's got a baby. She's got a little baby. I don't know how brookie's going on. A brookie? Right, I'll give you a quick brief. Uh, there's been a big fire. One of the houses blew up. There was a religious maniac. How was Barry Grant? Was it? He's Barry. Barry Grant's all right. It's uh, the one with the curly hair and the moustache. Who's that? Barry Grant. Oh, is it? Yeah. Where's the one out of the nightclub? Oh, Terry. Oh, Terry. Oh, Terry. Terry. Yeah, that's Terry Duckworth. No, no, that's from Cardiff. <laughs> Two gin and tonics, please. One in here and another one. Please. Please. Give me a second. There's some fantastic sort of uh, anti rooms around the, uh, around the first floor of this. Mick Goble. Nice to meet you, Mick. You live well. Ship's gynecologist. Ship's gynecologist? Mick Goble. I'm sure you're very sore. Do you know what the criteria is for that job? No. Mind this helmet. Waterproof watch and a small wrist. Happy beginning. 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 Drinking when they go ashore. How, how do you respond to that? Well, it's, a, it's a completely distorted view because what people don't understand is the time that we're cooped up in the ship without the opportunity for release. And you know, after 
you know, 14 or 15 days in an operational area, with all that entails, when you get ashore, this is actually our Friday night, which is a, you know, a really common experience in Sydney Street. You know, most people, when they finish at the office, they go out for a drink with their chums, and this is nothing more than that. And whenever there's something goes slightly wrong, it's blown out of all proportion. You know, this isn't um, Jack of old, you know, what should we do with a drunken sailor? This is not unusual behaviour, this is just a Friday night out. We're anchored often, there's a boat, well, they call it a paz boat, it's a bit like a luxury liner, actually, and uh, it ferries us in and out every half hour, then every half hour back. Uh, to pick the lads up, be in patrol lag, go back on the boat, make sure everybody's all right, no fighting, no throwing up on the things like that. Just make sure they get up the ladder all right. As an officer, you never get properly involved, you always stay well, well back. If there's a sailor that's going to be difficult or anything like that, you've got your actual ratings there to deal with him, you're just there to oversee. If you start getting involved and anything nasty happens, the lad's in more trouble than he was beforehand because he's done something to you, which is an offence against an officer, which is one of the hugest crimes. So keep well back. I think we're goes with that same, doesn't it? I think we're eating that cat. I think we're, <laughs> we're eating some kind of domestic pat here. <laughs> this is dog or something. This is dog or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that it's not as good as dog. Oh, oh no. No, thanks. Oh, that's dead hot as well. Oh, that's a little bit nasty. Yeah, yeah. The match that actually taking place in Istanbul is tomorrow night, but uh, one of the other Turkish teams beat Villa tonight, so they're all out celebrating already. All the police cars with lights on and everything, people hanging out of taxi windows. Just hoping on our lads get. Come on, boys, don't get mixed up with this lot. Let's get back to the boat. Go on now. Aston Villa lost tonight 2 1 at home. They lost on away goals. So uh, all these Turks are well happy. They always get mixed up with football supporters. There they come, look. People here, because uh, Aston Villa lost tonight. Though. They all go gathered down here, trying to goad us into doing something. I don't know what. I obviously think we're uh, going to try something. They're obviously wrong. Back to the boat, everybody. Everybody, back to the boat. Got to meet that in tonight. If I had a kick off there, it would have been British thugs, British football hooligans start trouble uh, again. Oh, he's starting to break when he's good. Kick off. Yeah, lucky enough, they'll never be giving an excuse. They will come down here because they know we've got to go back to the ship. They all come down here. Shoving the flags and all that box. And they were, all they wanted was an excuse to kick off. That was it. All it was. And then it would have been British hooligans ashore again. British hooligans, we're not welcome anywhere. And all it is. And then would have been the top dogs. Home sweet home, I think the saying goes. 
What you got there is British sovereign territory. It's a little piece of England. No one can take that away from you. People moan about it. People drip about it, but it's England. All this, all this is Turkey, foreign land. But this bit here is England. Come here. Anyway. No, this dark is messy. We're gonna get a bollock in now, mate. Hey? We're gonna get a bollock in one. Shut up, oi, 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 oi. I just thought I'd say, actually. Right, don't ever track that man down the mess for a beer, right? Because he can't handle his beer. It's bollocks, <laughs> it's all so bollocks. Shut up! You drank nine, yeah? You drank nine, yeah? But he had another nine to drink, right? Right to the elbow wall, Gladman. Sir. Off, cap. Owen Gladman, sir, the first charge reads. Was on the 2nd of November in 1994. Drunk on shore in Sherlock Holmes at Public House, Istanbul. Second charge reads, did on the 2nd of November 1994 use violence to petty officer weapons electrical artificer of a Majesty ship Brilliant, his superior officer. Ellen Gladman, do you understand the charges? Yes, sir. Do you plead guilty or not guilty? Yes, sir. 